Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Recently, Casio released their new G-Shock model, which is the GA2300. S something about it just kind of made me think, I, I like the look of that, I wanted to pick one up. Hopefully I can give you some information today which will make you decide whether you want to pick up one of these yourselves or whether you'll maybe skip this one and maybe pick up a, a future GA G-Shock instead. As we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, then we'll have a look at some materials, and then we'll have a look around the features of this watch itself. Uh, now, as far as the measurements are concerned, this is a lot smaller than some other watches. So it comes in at 45 millimeters by 42 millimeters by 11 millimeters thick. Now, just to compare this to some others, because you'll probably notice it does have a very similar form factor to some other popular Casio watches, in the fact that you have the hands on the front there is uh, some information that you can read from the left hand side here uh, so on this model it actually shows you uh, th this is the uh, this is the date that's on there then there is a, a bottom screen and then there's a screen on the left similar to the uh, the, the GAB 2100 also similar as well to the GA uh, the GA2000 as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a very similar format. However, what you'll probably or hopefully notice is the size difference between both of these two watches. And if we come out a little again slightly, I can put the 2100 over the GAB2100, sorry, the 2300 over the GAB2100, uh, and you can still see the, the other watch behind it. The face is definitely smaller compared to this as well, and it's definitely something that you notice when it's on your wrist as well. The weight of this comes in at just 49 grams, so it's, it's, it's definitely a very light weight model. Now, as far as the uh, materials are concerned, it's fairly standard for a Casio G-Shock watch. So around the outside, the bezel, <clears throat> This is all made from a resin material. The strap on this, now I've been quite critical of, uh, of straps of late. Um, however, I, I think this one perfectly suits the watch. It does have a very kind of minimalist look to the face. It's, it's very clean um, and I, I think it's reflected in the strap itself. Now the strap length on this, especially compared to uh, especially compared to other models, is is reasonably short. So here we have the GA twenty one hundred next to it. Um, so there, there is probably maybe ten or twenty millimeters difference between them. For me, I have a seven and a half inch wrist. When this is on my wrist. It definitely feels small, and I will I get I will say that I'm probably going to say that it feels small quite a lot as we uh, as I make this content, um, but it definitely feels small when it's on my wrist. But luckily, there's still so there's still at least four or five um, holes on there, just in case if you do have a larger wrist, um, then you can open that out for you. The straps themselves, what I do like about this is so that the straps themselves, rather than being similar to other Casio models, um, where they're almost kind of built into the bezel. I know, I know strictly speaking, they're not built into the bezel. You can take these off. Um, this one has, has completely separate straps and has these kind of lug adapters here. So if you wanted to, this is a 24 millimeter strap. So if you wanted to, you could do similar to how I have my um, GAB 2100 so you could take these straps off here and you could replace them with your own straps if you wanted to Now on the back the actual case itself So just for a few the few of you that like to have this information uh, So the, um, the the number on there is the uh, 5725 you've got your model number which is the GA 2300 it says steel uh, stainless steel on the back it has a Japanese movement in here and this is assembled because I read it wrong and I said Taiwan when it was Thailand uh, yes this is assembled in this is assembled in Thailand 
So just some extra little kind of points, I guess as well. So this being a Casio G-Shock, it is um, submersible up to 200 meters. Um, and actually it doesn't give you much information about the, the actual battery itself. So I'm guessing it will probably be one of their standard um, roughly 10 years um, in order in, and if you need to get it changed. There are a few different versions of this or as far as a few different colours is concerned. There's a white one, an all black one, which is completely all black murdered out. This is the this is the grey version and there is also a version in a kind of a shocking cerise kind of pink colour as well. Um, and they all have different kind of accents on there. I like this one mainly because of the bright um, the bright hands that are on here and I like this feature going in between um, so half past one down to half past four you can see that there's a there's a there's that X on the front um, I, I like that that's there I think the date or sorry the day here on the left hand side this is very easy to read again because it so it starts Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday um, with that fluorescent orange on black it makes it very easy to read the two displays here, so the display at the bottom as it stands, this is showing seconds uh, and the display to the right at three o'clock here, this is showing the uh, the, the day and date. Um, it, it's a fairly small display and in certain lights it is particularly difficult to read. There is a light button here at the top which throws the light out here from the side and then expects it to kind of bounce around the rest of the watch, which does let's just say an, an, an adequate job that's what it does uh, you can also change this one display here as well by using the start button so it will give you a digital readout of the time itself as far as the functions are, functions are concerned very similar and kind of a standard function set to a lot of G-Shock watches so using the uh, using the mode button here down in the left hand corner uh, you can cycle through them so the first one is world time there are a, a, a a huge amount of world times that you can go through so that you can use this as a secondary time that will allow you to keep your time for me GMT and then you'll be able to maybe check on another time zone if you have colleagues in a, a, a far off corner of the globe uh, click again and it will then take you on to stopwatch so you have start uh, here it's showing milliseconds and there we have seconds now this button would usually be a reset so that's actually the light now and instead you use the adjust button and that will then reset that back to zero press mode again it's now on timer so at the moment it's on 10 minutes uh, you can hit start here we're on seconds and then it shows full minutes you can stop that and then to reset it again you use the the, uh, the, the adjust button. If you want to change that from 10 minutes all you have to do is hold down the adjust button for a few seconds uh, and you'll see that it now gives you the option so that you can reset that. Instead I'm just going to press adjust again and it will, um, it will, it will stop that. The mode button then takes us through two alarms. This has five independent alarms which you can cycle through here so alarm one two three four and five and then you also have an option for an hourly time signal which i just love on casio watches that they all still have these i think more watches need hourly time signals you can then press it again and you'll see on the on the screen there it says time so we're back now to uh, back to the normal timekeeping mode now you can adjust a lot through here so using the adjust button if you hold this down for a few seconds you can then set where you are in the world but then by using the mode button this will then allow you to uh, to be able to go through the different settings so the first setting on here which is a little bit different to usual is so the first setting on here is daylight savings or not um, at the moment I'm not on daylight savings because it's, it's, it's British summer time um, being an adult I am not going to be giving this to a child so I'm on 24 hour um, format as well um, then pressing the mode so you can reset the seconds if needed then you can change the hours then change the minutes then change the year so currently we're on 2024 and then date so as it stands again with this which is slightly unfortunate it's in month and then day mode rather than how a lot of countries use it around the world where it's where it's in day and then month so it's it's according to this it's april the 17th 
press it again and then you have some information about your keys so if you want to remove the um, the, the key tones every time you press them then you can do that here press mode again and then you have some information about the light so when the light comes on it's currently set for one second but I can press this and it'll have an option for three seconds they are the only two options it's either one or three I know on others you have one three or five uh, but with this it's just one and three press it again and it goes back round to uh, round to the world time zones but I can press the uh, the reset or sorry the adjust button uh, and it will reset now hopefully you can see that the hands are moving there um, the way in which you set this to make it easier is you set it by the digital clock and then the hands will reset to the digital clock and they'll adjust they'll adjust accordingly for me one of the main features that I really do like about this is the fact as mentioned before that these are separate straps rather than the kind of the built-in straps that you have with these. Uh, one of my favorite things about the GA200 and the GAB2100, um, especially how I've, how I've modified this is that these are a lot easier to wear on the wrist. Having the ability to be able to just have this adjust ever so slightly when it's on your wrist, uh, whether, whether your hand's on its side or however you have this, certainly makes this a very comfortable watch. Um, and at times, I, I generally, it, it just doesn't feel like it's on my wrist. But it's very nice. I certainly like the look and I certainly like the feel um, of this watch. I think the GA2300 is gonna be a bit of a, a, bit of a, a splitter. I think some people are either gonna love this or they're just gonna not like it whatsoever. For me, the design of this, I really like being a child of the 80s, growing up through the 90s. I'm also a huge comic geek outside of being a bag geek and a watch nerd. Um, so yeah, things like the X-Men, that huge X accent on the front, um, the colour scheme that went specifically with this one, I know there's a, there's, a, there's a few other models, but this one specifically, I really do like. It's, ju it's just very small, or at least it's a lot smaller than a lot of other G-Shock models that I'm kind of used to. And I think especially considering recently um, I've been wearing my um, Instinct 2X Solar quite a lot. Having something like this on my wrist, it's definitely felt a lot smaller and I mean it certainly doesn't help that I have quite large wrists as well. So yeah, well, I, I hope this has helped you guys um, make up your mind whether you're going to pick one of these up or whether you're going to skip this. I'd certainly like to hear down in the comments, do you like the design aspect of this? So there any features on here you like? Are you going to pick one of these up or, yeah, are you going to skip it? Uh, so yes, let's, let, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's start a debate in the, in the comments below. Uh, now I'll leave some links below so that you can see more from this and where you can pick one of these up. I'll also leave some of my social media links here on Moreland More Under EDC sorry, and also my sister channel, Moreland the Tactical. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Hi. What is it? It's the Casio. It is the GA2300. GA2300! And do the clasp for now just so you can see it a little bit more um, one of the first things that you notice with no well you fluffed that one up didn't you youth more than the tactical more than the tactical this is more than the EDC Jesus sorry about the blasphemy then there cold today. If I run this morning it's freezing. Let's defrost my car. Anyway, uh, I've got a weird lens on this because I'm doing, yeah, anyway. Uh, cool. See you in a bit.